just we asked you this at the Fiesta Bowl, and everybody kind of gave the same answer. Now, how do you feel uh, with Mark as the head coach, and and kind of what that means to your career, the offense, everything involved? You know, we're all definitely very excited. Um, you know, the meeting last night was awesome. Um, coach Evers came in, and you know, he gathered us around, and you know, it was just a very exciting time. And uh, you know, for myself, I'm very excited just to continue to learn from someone like him, and uh, he's a very smart football intelligence. He has very smart football intelligence, and I'm, you know, very excited to continue to learn from him. Marcus, Marcus, what do you think will be different next year compared to this last season? You know, honestly, I'm not too sure. Um, you know, we're going to have to continue just to do what we do. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow, Monday, and work out and you know, just take it one day at a time and, um, you know, win the day and all that. That doesn't change for us. And, um, you know, really, we're just going to continue to live that way, continue to have that mentality and look forward to tomorrow. Well, I, I was actually going to ask Ricky a question. Are we going in order or anything? Okay. Um, obviously, Coach Azanero going to uh, going to the Eagles. Uh, what are your feelings as a defensive lineman about losing the coach? Um, we talked as a D-line group. Um, obviously, he was a great coach for us. He's brought us a long ways, and he's a, he's he's the one who got us to this point as a D-line group. It's going to be hard to adjust without him, but um, we haven't let his culture die. But he's taught us one thing. He's always emphasize with us is don't forget who we are and how we got here. And that's one thing we got to keep going. Obviously, we are Oregon football, and how we got here was we won the day every day. And so that doesn't change for any of us, no matter what position. Jake? It's for DeAnthony. DeAnthony, you obviously, Chip always talked about his relationship with you um, and how you guys were close. Are you missing him, and, and what's your relationship like with Mark, and, and are you confident that you can kind of continued the relationship you had with Chip now with, with your new head coach? Um, um, just being in the meeting last night, I feel like our team has a great vibe, and I feel like um, we're ready to go already, so um, we're just going to wait to see this, get these spring game practices in and just go on from there. Um... Uh, probably just go back to Coach Cam and, you know, just work on some running back things and just have fun. Just keep it all going and just stay focused and just stand as a team. For Marcus Mariota, uh, I think you can get the pace going a little faster. It's just kind of seemed to be lagging a little bit in that last game. <laughs> a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but do you think you can actually even pick it up more than you have? That you have? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, you know, whatever Coach Elfridge has been planning for us, um, you know, I'm not too sure how much would change offensively, but, you know, definitely if we can continue to our pace and, you know, push it even further, I mean, that would be very, very crucial for us. Brian or DeAnthony, whoever wants to answer this, you guys seem really relaxed right now. Um, was it a relief for this to come down that, that everything is going to stay kind of continuous? Yeah, like I said, um, well, like everyone said, it was a great vibe in our, our meeting last night, and I feel like our team is excited for uh, Coach Helpers to, you know, step up and, you know, learn from him and just keep everything uh, dialed in and just stand focused and focus on what we got to do and just live in the moment. I mean, when we first saw him come in, they said we're announcing our new head coach, Mark Helfrich. He walked up there, everybody gave him a standing ovation. I mean, I like him a lot. And it'd be fun for me to finally get coached by him because, I mean, just what I've seen from him, he looks like a nice guy. And like now, I told him uh, the first time I found out, I was like, I'll finally be able to hear you talk more. And he was like, I don't know if that's a good thing. But, you know, I mean, I like him. I think that everybody else is all aboard. We're, we're ready to be coached by him. He seems like a great guy. so. We got something coming with us, you know, this next coming season. I think he'll be a force. Brian, back here. Stay right there. Uh, obviously, you're on the defense, and so not a lot changes other than as leaving. But uh, just in terms of the overall program going forward, a lot of people have wondered, can they keep it going without Chip Kelly? Just your thoughts on that from the defensive side and then what you see from the offense. I mean, what I've seen is that we got a lot of players coming back. so. I mean, we were the ones that kept this thing rolling last year. Yeah, we have our coaches there, our play callers, but it's us out there who are performing these plays. And 
And we pretty much have the same coaches coming back as position coaches. I mean, we got, you know, slight changes, but I think everything's going to be pretty much the same. We're all ready to come out there and perform. I mean, these guys right here, you have nobody better to listen to. Like, if you're, if you're a newcomer or if you're an underclassman, like, I feel like we'll be some of the best players that there are to listen to coming around. And we'll just be ready to perform. And we have a lot of people that are behind us ready to, ready to go out there and win games. Eric in the back. Brian, for you, you guys have talked about the other day not having a vote in this whole process, but knowing that Chip flirted with the NFL last year and now with him gone, is Mark the guy that you guys wanted all along? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, I completely agree that that's who we wanted to step into that role because we feel like there probably wouldn't have been anybody better for that. He's been here with us. He understands the way that the program rolls. And I don't think there's a better way to keep this thing rolling than to get someone who was already in this with us from the beginning. He knows the process. He knows the struggle. He knows what we go through. So for him to just move on up on the ladder, like we're ready for him to take us where we can go next. And I feel like this team is going to take off soon. Marcus, you were nodding when Brian was saying that. Uh, he, obviously, your relationship with Mark is closer than Brian. You hear him talk all the time. Um, was this what you wanted when, when Chip left? Yeah, and I think, um, you know, I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of these guys, too, and, and the team. I feel like, you know, we all really wanted Coach Harper to get it. And, um, you know, from the moment we have heard it last night, I think just the excitement and just the kind of vibe. I mean, DeAnthony was, was touching on it. Just the vibe of the team was, you know, unreal. And, um, you know, as a player, that makes me very excited. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to continuing to learn from Coach Huffridge, and I'm really looking forward to getting this thing, uh, this whole thing going. John, Marcus, on as far as play calling goes, is it going to? How different is it going to be for you? I guess to be getting the plays from him compared to Chip. You know, honestly, I don't think there's there's going to be much change. Um, you know, Coach Coach Kelly had had a tendency to want to keep things going, and I think Coach Huffridge also feels that way. So. Honestly, um, you know, we're going to see on the first practice and see throughout, you know, this, the next, you know, spring practices. But honestly, you know, I don't think there's going to be much change. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. There's one more question. Okay, I see no hands with that. Again, I want to defer to the players there today that they're normally not here. So if they've got something else going on, please respect that. Other than that, uh, if they are willing, if you will have to request for a long That was a press conference from Austin where the University of Oregon just named Mark Helfrich as the new head coach of the Ducks. Now here's a few quick notes from the announcement. This is a five-year contract worth about $9 million. Athletic Director Rob Mullen says this process started long before Coach Kelly submitted his resignation. That happened on Wednesday. The university's last head coach interview was Friday night and the decision-making process really started getting serious then late Friday night. Mullen says everything every search here continued to lead back to Helfrich. We have a little background on the Ducks' new head coach. He's an Oregon native. He was born in Medford and graduated from high school in Coos Bay. Helfrich played quarterback at Southern Oregon University. He started coaching in 1996. Now, he has coached at many different levels over the last 15-plus years. Helfrich served as Oregon's offensive coordinator for the last few years now and until today when the University of Oregon named him the 32nd head coach of the Ducks. He will be taking over the reins from Coach Chip Kelly, who's now with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, we will have more on this developing story coming up on tonight's newscast. We will also re-air the press conference tonight at 7 and 11.30. In Eugene, you can find it on KEZI 9 Plus, and in Medford, it will be airing on 12 Plus. We will have complete coverage on KEZI.com and KDRV.com.